When you teach about American history, the hardest thing is to bring it alive. We always think about it as the past. But sometimes when you see a book or a document or an artifact, it makes it come alive in a way that you hadn't thought about before. We have a delightful, just wonderful addition to the Kirby Center here at Hillsdale College. An extremely rare and powerful letter. It was the gift of the family of Mark Levin, who previously gave us an original copy of the Federalist Papers, has now given us something perhaps even more historically significant. And it's a letter written by a forgotten patriot named Joseph Warren. Joseph Warren was in charge of the defense of Boston, Massachusetts, prior to the outbreak of the American Revolution. Joseph Warren was the man who sent Paul Revere on a ride on the night of April 18th to warn the countryside that the British were coming. He warned John Hancock and Samuel Adams who fled and of course the British did come and that led to skirmishes at Lexington and Concord. The Americans or the colonists, the rebels, chased the British back to Boston. At this time Joseph Warren is in charge of the defense of Boston. He's the head of the Committee of Safety and the letter we received he writes on June 4th and he writes it to the colony of New York desperately asking for ammunition and gunpowder. And less than two weeks later, there will be a battle, the battle which we know as Bunker Hill. And after the battle, the British not only immediately kill him because they know who he is, but they desecrate his body. And his body is later identified by Paul Revere. Joseph Warren was the first great martyr and the great hero of the American Revolution before George Washington. And this is a letter, one of its kind, in beautiful condition, very valuable, very powerful, and this is a real letter written by a real man in a real difficult situation. And we know, in hindsight, that he's going to be killed. And the Americans will lose that battle to the British. And we also know, which they didn't know at the time, that it was the first battle of the American Revolution. That's extremely powerful and evoking the best and the highest and the excellence of these individuals that we honor and we speak of as our founding fathers. And they were real people who sacrificed and did great things that we ought to remember.